Hi guys, it's Paul again. Just wanting to go through a few things that were in the original video um, with the new Pez editing tools. Um, been a few questions in the thread, and sometimes it's easy just to see it on screen rather than just post a response. So here we go. So we'll start by just getting the brute force started to convert my file okay now this is something that I'm just going to go over again now if you look, notice here my brute force is looking on my desktop my file here it is um, by default it looks in the brute force folder so what you need to do is if you've got it stored somewhere else and it's not loading in for whatever reason there's this icon here this little button with the three dots just press that direct it to where you want it to look for the folder and it will load in and once you've done that once it will always look in that location unless you change it so just decrypt this and close that now I'm just going to start up a, a tool that wasn't in the original video I hadn't used it when I made that um, it's called Pro Evo Editing Studio 2013 it's, um, it's not something I really like um, particularly I find it pretty slow and unresponsive um, compared to the wild editor but it has one little thing which is quite handy um, which I'm going to go through now quickly now you need to go file and open but I just missed a step there I forgot to actually convert my file to P PC so I'll just do that quickly first sorry about that um, PS3 to PC and there he is uh, and we'll convert that Obviously, I'm on PS3, sometimes PS3 to PC, but you can also go Xbox to PC if you've got the Xbox version. And now I'll just try opening again and locate where my file is, which is here, and open. <coughs> and this will load in. Um, yeah, so this this piece of software, it, I find it very unresponsive and. But one thing I like to do that you can't do with the wild editor is you can actually do face builds. So I'll just show you quickly how you do that once this is loaded in. Okay, so we're loaded in. So you go to players, which is this icon here, a little player in the Brazil shirt. Um, and as you can see, look, it's really slow um, loading in. So you've got the initial screen here. Now here it's showing the dummy player. You can type a player name in, or you can use the drop down box and select a player. Um, and it'll take a while, there it is. So here you go. Now what you can do is so you've got the general profile here. This tab is the skills, or player stats. And then here's where you get to do the build. So you've got the appearance tab here. Now again, just like the wild editor, you can do a Relink special faces. Obviously, it's part G song. It's got a preset, so it's on special. But if you change these to build, you can edit them here. So you've got physique, the base, the hair, the beard, the jaw, and the ears on this tab, and then eyes, brows, nose, and mouth on this tab. And you can change the figures just like you would in game. Um, to do that, what you need to remember though is using this editor when you're doing these players. In between changing between every one of these tabs you need to hit accept in between changing each one otherwise you'll lose anything you've changed but that's basically the only reason I would use that um, you can't do anything you wouldn't do in game anyway with that um, but but if you're away from your, your console and you wanted to do some face builds that's one way to do it um, I think Roy posted a link to it in the thread, but if he didn't, just Google Pro Evo, Pro Evo Editing Studio 2013 and you'll find the download link pretty easy. So I'm just going to load the wild editor back up just to go through a few things on here that I didn't mention in the original video, um, just to show you how you can do those things if you haven't already worked it out yourself. Um, takes a few minutes to load in but here we are so first up um, we've got the master league staff um, it's called team staff here so you can drop it down and select team staff 
and it shows all the stats. So these are the the, the first few of the first five there are the the scouts from Bell, and then the rest are the coaches, fitness trainers, all those kind of things that you can hire in Master League. But, um, in that mode, um, now you can edit these to be whoever you want. You can change their appearance um, either by using relink faces or using the Pro Evo editor. You, know, you can do face builds for these people. If it's someone you, who hasn't got a preset, now you might see here. If you notice, I've done a few myself, so you can see Van der Sar here, relinked his face, Van Bronckhorst there, there, um, a few other coaches here, John Carver of. Newcastle and Benny Molstein of Man United um, and you can edit all those around it so far I'm going to try and get the rest done sometime soon but um, that allows you to do that um, something else here is the Master League Young section now these are the players, the youth team players that appear in Master League um, you can edit a few of these things in game um, you can do their name, you can do their appearance but you can't change anything else about the player in in the in game. But with the editor, you can change their nationality, their position, as well as their name and their appearance, their boots, and things like that, um, which is quite handy. Um, being able to make them so you probably wouldn't put anyone major in here or change the age too much. But if you've got say a 16 year old you want to add in, replace for your t you know your team's youth team. You can do that here, which is very handy. I'll just change this back to all players. Um, now the next thing is these unnamed players. So a lot of people have asked about the unnamed players, whether you can use them or not. Now I've not tested any of these unnamed zeros. Personally, I wouldn't touch them um, at all. I think they're just empty slots that Konami use when they need to add new players to the new data pack. But then you have got these unnamed players with longer numbers at the end. These ones are the actual players that appear in the create player section in the game. So as you can see here I've only got one player in my create player section which is Bresciano and then all these down to the bottom are the others which are empty on mine at the moment which is why they still have the default name there. Now you can edit these players obviously in game and then come into this section if you want to have a relink of face or you can edit these in the editor and then go back to the get you know and add the preset face and then when you go back to the game they'll be there in the creative players section. Um, so that's pretty much it for players. I, I think I've covered doing relinking faces last time pretty well and it's not that hard to work out so I'm sure a lot of you have done it. Um, something else that sort of skipped over last time was unlinking um, licensed teams so you can edit their kits. It's always a problem when someone gets a new kit either at the end of the season or mid-season and Konami don't update it and you're stuck with the old kit and no way to edit it but with this you can. So here's England you can see their kit slot there it's showing their proper kit slot and so if you go to this cross here it says remove kit relink and if you click that the box goes empty now what that does is it just defaults the kit to a basic white shirt blue shorts white socks as it's England for the home kit and you can hit the yellow shirt there and it brings you in to show the kit now you can edit the kit here but I'd probably recommend loading the PNGs you want to, want to use for that kit onto your PS3 going into the game and, and editing and in edit mode as you would with any unlicensed team um, but there is something else you can do here with with these teams um, which is here so if you look at this section you have the sleeve patch that's the badge like the league logo that appears on your shirt and you can change the position of that logo up or down the shirt um, it's pr pretty handy when it comes to teams who wear Adidas kits where they have a a stripe all the way down the sleeve but with a break in the middle now by default the badge will sit over the bottom part of the stripe on a short sleeve um, but with this you can move up so it sits in the in the gap where the stripes break the first number here is for short sleeve and the second number is for long sleeve okay 
Now this section here is for the numbers that appear on the front of the shirt and on the shorts. The first number affects how big that number is. The higher the number, the bigger the bigger the number. And then the X and Y, the second and third one, is the X is where it's positioned left to right and the Y is the up or down position. So that's handy for teams where their number is in a strange position on the ship. So you can edit those, you can play around with that a bit and work out what's best for each team. Um, you can see this in action where if you look at Sweden, obviously they've got a licensed kit in the game, but on mine it's showing a blank here. It's because I unlinked them and added their their new Adidas kit to replace the default Umbro kit that was in there by Konami. Um, if, say, Konami then go and update this kit in the next data pack, you can just click here and find Sweden on the list and change it back to Sweden, which would be their A, and then that would relink their original kit back in um, to the game. So that's something pretty handy there. Um, so that's that's most things here um, just another thing from the video before you notice my six teams here towards the bottom of the team list just above Japan now originally we thought it was six teams that appeared in Master League and Bell as, as the fake teams it's possibly only four so you might not want to bother with these two here and just edit these four but we should have more info on that soon um, and now finally for today there's one other thing um, there's a lot of people who who want to use option files but for whatever reason be it they've got no internet access at home or their console's not hooked up to the internet or they're banned from Xbox Live or PlayStation Network and so they're stuck on the original data packs or some some version of data pack that isn't the latest one so if you hit file you've got change DLC version. So my computer's playing up here. She mind showing is 3.0 at the minute and EXE version 1.03, which is the patch. You can change these numbers to a default. Just don't know what happened there. There you go, it says it's successfully changed and then save and exit and copy it back so you can match that up to whatever your your version is on your game um, so you can use current option files even if you haven't got the latest data pack and patch um, I've not tested that at all but I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work but as with all of this stuff just remember always keep a backup of your option file before you start messing around with it um, just in case something goes wrong, it's, it's pretty rare and normally it can be recovered but just in case, always good to have a backup. Um, so I think that's probably it for today, I'll just close this down. Um, if you've got any little things you'd like me to go through or show you how to, how to do using these editing tools then let me know in the thread and I will try and make another video to go through that and show show you how to do whatever you're trying to do okay all right have a good weekend cheers